Hi, this is Bob from the Beancast. It's Peter from Shankman.com. And it's time for the two minute rundown for Friday, April 13th, 2012. It's as close to a black cat as we have for April 13th, (laughs) Friday the 13th. Well, the timer is running and let's get started. started. Um, More cuts. Apparently, 52% of marketers are saying they are looking for their agencies to cut internal costs. Mm -hmm. So, if you are a copywriter or an account manager out there, learn accounting because apparently you're going to have to do this because they're going to fire all the people doing the back end work. Essentially, I mean, it's, you know, I think what it is, I bet you there's a study somewhere out there that says if these guys watch Mad Men and they think that everyone in every agency, regardless of what they're doing, acts like that and they want it to stop. But yeah, I mean, it's not surprising. You know, look, we're coming back in the economy. It's just starting to kick in. But just because the economy's kicking in doesn't mean that everyone's not afraid anymore. Right, right. You know, and that's really important. Just because the economy's back doesn't mean that the rest of the world's like, oh, it's fine. We can have a party again. You know, you, you got to wonder how much the economy has truly recovered. I mean, a lot of the economy has We're on recovered. the road, but we're not there yet. Exactly. I mean, the stock market is what's the the indicator of the recovery. And really, that's not indicating the no, entire job no, picture not. and whether or not uh, jobs have gone back to levels and salaries have returned to no, not previous by long levels. Shots. Yeah, yeah. So it's still, still a pretty scary time out there. Now, you know that Amex Foursquare deal we talked about? It worked. Where, you know, it not only worked, apparently it's being used as a social ROI measurement. Um, they are basically going back to the participants and improving to them how much money they're making as a result of doing social media with, with uh, Amex and their partner. You know who's going to pay attention to that? Who is? Facebook. Yeah. Because that says, have you noticed Facebook started to really ramp up the deals now? Yeah, I know. So-and-so is taking a Red Robin in five bucks off. <laughs> That's where we're going with that. That's what's going to wind up. If, if Facebook, I've always said this, when Facebook puts $50 million, which is tip money for them, $50 million behind Facebook places and deals, four squares out of business. And the, the most interesting story for me today was the fact that startups are recruiting campus volunteers to do things like write websites on um, on uh, blackboards yeah. before class and and stuff leaflets into mailboxes and do all kinds of things for free. Yeah. Um, you know, and the the value exchange for the student is that they get to put this on their resume. Of course, they say they work for a startup. That startup could hit. Is it when a viable I was in, strategy? When I was in college, I, I I interned for a company called Diva. Diva changed their name to Avid. Avid, as we all know. Yes. And I and they said. We can give you a hundred bucks so you can buy some beer. We'll give you some of our stock. I took the hundred bucks. <laughs> what did we learn, boys and girls? Take the stock. And with that, we are out of time. I'm Bob Nork. I'm Peter Shankman. Happy Friday the 13th. Happy Friday the 13th. And tune in on Monday for another two-minute two minute rundown. rundown. Okay, go play.